Emily, come help me string these bangs for winter. Ma, George should have let himself have a real conversation now, didn't he? He's gotten big, too. How old would he be now? I don't know. Sixteen, maybe? I made a speech in class today, Mom, and I was very good. You must recite it to your father for supper. <laughs> During supper. What was it about? The Louisiana Purchase. It was like silk up a fool. <laughs> I've made speeches all my life. Mom, are these big enough? I thought you were a little bit bigger, sweetie. Mama, will you answer me a question? Serious? Seriously, dear. Not serious. Seriously, will you? Of course. Mama, am I good looking? Of course you are. I'd be ashamed of my child. I'd be ashamed if you hadn't. Um, I'm not sure you got good features. I'd be ashamed if they hadn't. Oh, Mama, that's not what I mean. What I mean is that I'm pretty. I already told you yes. <laughs> now hush up and string the beads. But Mama, you've got to say something about me. Wait, no. Mama, you never tell us the truth about anything. I am a telling you the truth. Were you pretty? Of course I was. I was pretty girl in town next to me in the park, right? But Mama, you gotta say something about me. I mean, am I pretty enough to to get somebody? <laughs> to get people interested in me? Of course you are. You've got nice, pretty young features, and you're pretty enough for all normal purposes. Now come here and bring that bowl for me. Oh, Mama, you ain't no help at all. <laughs> 